Hello, this video will show you how to log into and download files from the Remote Desktop System or RDS at Mount San Jacinto College. It is important to note that the RDS can only be accessed via Internet Explorer. You cannot use Firefox or Chrome. To begin, launch Internet Explorer and go to apps.msjc.edu. On the login screen, enter your Blackboard username in the domain slash username box after ITS backslash. Don't delete it. Your password will be your seven digit student ID number. If your ID number begins with a zero, include it. Once you have your username and password entered, click sign in. This will open the remote apps page. You are now ready to begin using the RDS. Now, on to downloading the data files. You will need to download and save the data files to the RDS to be able to use them with Microsoft Access. To do this, we have to log into the course in Blackboard and go to the textbook support site. So, locate the application program you want to run, either Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox, and click on it. The remote app dialog box will open asking you if you want to connect to the MSJC app farm. Click on connect. Enter your username and password again. Remember, you need to put ITS backslash. This is the slash above the enter key on your keyboard, not the one next to the shift key, in front of your username or it won't work. You'll know that you did it right if the domain under the boxes changes from your local computer name to ITS. Click OK. It may take a minute to load the application. Be patient. If it takes longer than five minutes, you may need to restart the process. Your browser should load. Then you go to the course like you normally would. Log in as normal and navigate to the course. Go to the assignment section and click on the textbook companion site link. When the publisher site loads, click on data files from the menu options on the left. Click on the link under Data Files for Text, the first option. When the action bar opens at the bottom of the window, click on Run. If you receive another warning stating the publisher couldn't be verified, click Run again. This should open the WinZip Self-Extractor dialog box. Click on Browse to navigate to where you want to save these files. When the Browse for Folder dialog box opens, locate your name and click on the triangle next to it to expand your options. Scroll down until you see My Documents, not Documents that's towards the top, and then click OK. Click on Unzip. You should receive a message saying the files were unzipped successfully. Click OK. To verify you saved the files in the correct location, leave the Internet Browser window open and go back to the App window. Click on the My Documents folder icon and then click Connect. This should open your RDS My Documents folder. There's one more step to do before you can use them in Access, however. Notice that all of the files are still in zip folders. The folder icons have a zipper on them. We have to extract the files. To do this, double click on a folder to open it. 
for example, Access Tutorials 1 through 4. Near the top of the window, notice the option Extract All Files. Click on it. In the Extract Compressed Zipped Folders dialog box, leave the existing path, but uncheck the Show Extracted Files When Complete box. Then click Extract. Once the files are extracted, the dialog box will close. In the My Documents window, click the Back button to exit out of the compressed folder. You will now see the unzipped Access Tutorials 1 through 4 folder. Now you're ready to use the files with Access. Remember, you will need to extract all the folders separately. You can extract them all now or later when you need them. Okay, let's close the My Documents window and go to Access. Locate the Microsoft Access icon on the third row, third icon from the left. Click on it one time. And click Connect. This will open Access. To open a file, click Open from the menu on the left hand side. You will see that it opens the RDS My Documents folder by default. You can then navigate to the file you need and click Open. Follow the instructions given by your textbook to know when to open a specific file. That should get you logged in and set up to begin working on your Access Tutorials. If you continue to have problems, please contact the RDS Help Desk at 951-487-3767.